What's going on, everybody? It's Inakubai, and today... You know what? Let, let, let's try that again. What's going on, everybody? It's Inakubai, and I do hope that you guys enjoyed the brand new intro that was actually made by my homie, Lek, who also made my profile picture and my banner. So... He redesigned my entire channel, and as a special shout out, I will also leave his Twitter in the description below so you guys can go over there and check him out. Now, time to address the elephant in the room. As of a few days ago, I recently hit a pretty big milestone on this channel. A pretty big one. We finally hit 50,000 subscribers, and oh my god, bro. I, I wanted to make this video a few days ago but i've been like super busy like trying to get videos out and doing things in real life so i couldn't really get to making the video but i wanted to make sure that within the first like full week of me being at 50k i made the you know 50k video and that's exactly what i'm doing right now i wanted to make sure that i got it up today and it is now going to be up today so i can finally say to you guys Thank you guys so much for all of the support that you have shown me throughout the past few years to get us to this point. 50,000 subscribers? That is a lot of people, bruh. The first thing I'm gonna change up is actually a personal thing within me, and that is the professionalism. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to have some sort of professionalism in my videos, but I do want to tone it down a bit because the way how I see it is when it comes to like gameplay and all that stuff, I'm a bit too professional at times and it creates like this gap between content creator and viewers you know my subscriber base and i want to be able to connect with you guys so you guys are more in tune with me as a person and enjoy coming back and viewing my content for me instead of just for my content alone so i'm gonna try to tone down the professionalism especially when it comes to like gameplay and all that but with news and information i will stick to being professional because that's the moment where you should be but with gameplay i'm gonna tone it down a bit relax chill just upload the gameplay and show you guys a bit more of me instead of like the professional side of me the next thing is content changes now i've said this in a few videos beforehand but i just want to reiterate now since this is probably going to be a much more direct video if you will but i'm going to diversify my content i'm not just going to stick around with Dragon Ball Z the entire time because although Dragon Ball Z is my bread and butter, I do play other games as well. If if you guys are like some OGs and stuck around, then you guys know that I played like Pokémon, Smash Bros, Kirby, and other games along those lines. So I do want to re-diversify my content and get some of those games back in there instead of just trapping myself in Dragon Ball Z. And I know that a lot of you guys subscribed for Dragon Ball Z, and that's not going anywhere but I don't want to trap myself to one type of content. I know viewership will drop and that's expected, but within time, I think I could rebuild it and try to have a decent fan base um, that will enjoy, again, content because I'm playing it and not just for the content itself. So again, content changes. I'm not locking myself to Dragon Ball Z anymore. I'm going to start diversifying soon and then we will go from there. Next, to celebrate hitting 50,000 subscribers, your boy, is going to be selling some brand new shirts. Now, this design was made by my homie Dev, which I have a link to his Twitter in the description below, but all in all, it's based off of the current channel design that I have right now. And I think they look really freaking cool. Of course, it's not only shirts, there are also hoodies, but it's, hey, I say cop one and represent the Indakuba squad, the Kuba squad, if you will, all right? Rock the 50K on the back with the N on the front looking like Superman, if, uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, I, I think you guys get where I'm coming from. Again, I say, cop a shirt, rock it. It's coming in one color this time, only because it looks better in black only, but still, they look freaking nice. And last but not least, what's the final goal? Like, where are we going from here? Are we just content at being at 50K, or are we going to grow? And of course we're gonna grow. We're not gonna stick here and just be like, yeah, we made it. No, we made it now, but we're still going to grow. So I have a brand new goal to reach. Something that I do hope I can hit by the end of the year because it is possible if you guys do continue to show me all of the love and support that you have up until this point. The new goal is road to 75K. I think that's a realistic goal to aim for 
before the end of the year. So hashtag road to 70K. I'm even gonna update my name on Twitter as well to Indakuba, hashtag road to 75K. But all in all, I do want to hit 100K by next year. I know for a fact it's definitely possible and I'm going to be grinding towards hitting that mark. But until then, I'm keeping my expectations realistic. I want to hit 75K by the end of the year and I know we can do it. So yeah, Road 75K starts right now. And with that, everything has been said. So once again, thank you guys so much for all the support that you've shown me all the way up until this point. It really does mean a lot. Like truthfully, we're halfway there. We are halfway towards hitting the goal of 100 thousand subscribers that is the main goal like our next sub goal if you will is 75k but the main goal is 100,000 subscribers and trust me if we hit 100k i gotta do something super special for you guys because at that point we get the plaque bro we get the plaque bro but with that being said i'm into kuba like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video